After you have defined the aggregate aware objects in your business layer, the next step to setting up aggregate awareness in the universe, is to specify which objects in the business layer are incompatible with each aggregate table. An object is considered incompatible if it is either at a lower level than the aggregate table, or is unrelated to it. In this tutorial, you will set aggregate navigation to define incompatible objects for two aggregate tables. From within the business layer, set aggregate navigation for the universe. Click Actions. Select Set Aggregate Navigation. To set up aggregate navigation, select the aggregate table from the list of data foundation tables in the left pane, and then choose the objects in the business layer that are incompatible with that table in the right pane. You can choose the incompatible objects manually, or you can use the Detect Incompatibility feature to automatically determine which objects should be excluded. Click Detect Incompatibility. By default, only incompatible objects are displayed in the right pane. View all of the objects in the business layer for the selected aggregate table. Clear the Incompatible Objects Only checkbox. Click Expand All. The checkboxes for any incompatible objects are already selected. Note that these are only suggestions. If desired, you can clear checkboxes that have already been selected, or manually select additional objects. In this example, the excluded objects are incompatible because they are based on columns that are not included in the selected aggregate table. Scroll through the list to review the other objects. Click to scroll down. Click to scroll down again. Review the incompatible objects for the other aggregate table. Select the second aggregate table. Click to scroll down. Click to scroll down again. Confirm the selected objects, and save your changes. Click OK. Click Save. You have successfully set aggregation navigation in a business layer. Once this step is complete, check the integrity of your universe as a final step, paying special attention to any loops that may have been created by the addition of the aggregate tables to your data foundation, which you can resolve by creating additional contexts where necessary. When your universe is complete, you can publish it to the repository and access it through your query and reporting tools to take advantage of the aggregate awareness. This is the end of a tutorial.